This video goes out to Kaylin and of course Chloe, who really impressed me today by showing she's a force to be reckoned with. DNA replication is the process by which DNA makes a copy of itself. Cells need to divide for an organism to grow, and every new cell needs a copy of the DNA's instructions. It's for this reason that DNA replicates just before a cell divides, during the S phase or synthesis of the interphase of the cell cycle. We start with DNA, a double helix molecule that is tightly wrapped and coiled. It needs to be for the 2 meter long molecule to be packaged up in chromosomes in the nucleus. At a certain point along the DNA molecule, the enzyme topoisomerase 2, also known as gyrase, unwinds the helical structure of the DNA. This point is called the origin of replication. The enzyme halicase is able to sever the hydrogen bonds between the purines and pyrimidines, linking the two DNA strands, and the molecule separates into two single strands. Because each has nitrogenous bases which code for the other, thanks to complementary base bearing, they are each able to be used to generate a matching strand. They are called the template strands or parent strands. The region of double-stranded DNA becoming two single strands is called the replication fork. Single strand binding proteins temporarily attach to each single strand to stabilize the opened up parental strands. The enzyme DNA polymerase 3 moves along the parent strand, adding nucleotides in the complementary fashion to generate a matching strand of DNA, the daughter strand. Nucleotides are only added to the newly forming daughter strand at the 3' end. That is, DNA polymerase 3 only works 5' to 3'. However, DNA polymerase 3 can't just start adding nucleotides wherever it wants. A primer is needed to begin synthesis. RNA primase gives DNA polymerase 3 an RNA primer from which to start synthesizing the daughter strand. Because DNA polymerase 3 only works in the 5' to 3' direction, it can only add nucleotides in a continuous fashion to one of the parent strands. The newly formed daughter strand is called the leading strand and the replication is called continuous replication. As helicase continues to unzip more of the double-stranded DNA, the DNA polymerase 3 making the leading strand can simply follow along, making the newly formed daughter strand longer and longer. The second parent strand is complementary to the first, which means the 5' to 3' direction of its newly synthesized daughter strand is in the direction away from the replication fork. As helicase continues to separate the double-stranded DNA, an empty space will be opened up behind the RNA primer of the second template strand. To overcome this issue, another RNA primer is laid down by RNA primase, closer to the newly opened up replication fork. This solution needs to be repeated again and again, leading to a number of small fragments of daughter strand being formed. These fragments are called Okazaki fragments. This daughter strand is called the lagging strand, and because it is synthesized in pieces, the replication is referred to as discontinuous replication. Eventually, all pieces of RNA primer need to be removed, and replaced by pieces of DNA. DNA polymerase 1 removes ribonucleotides of the primer, and replaces them with deoxyribonucleotides. DNA ligase joins the Okazaki fragments together, into one long daughter strand. Ligase then joins the nucleotides of each parent strand with its complementary daughter strand, resulting in two double-stranded DNA molecules. Each of the two DNA strands is one half parent and one half daughter strand. Because each has one original and one newly synthesized strand, DNA replication is referred to as being semi-conservative. When the double-stranded DNA is opened up into two single strands for replication, two helicase enzymes head off in opposite directions. A replication bubble results, with DNA being replicated in both directions. Remember that the lagging strand underwent discontinuous replication as helicase opened up the DNA behind the RNA primer. With replication also proceeding in the other direction, the DNA polymerase 3 of the lagging strand is now working in the same direction as the second helicase. This leads to it being the leading strand, with continuous replication as the DNA polymerase 3 follows the second helicase along. This means that on one side of the replication bubble, one particular daughter strand will be the leading strand, with continuous replication, whilst on the other side of the replication bubble, the same daughter strand will be the lagging strand, with discontinuous replication. DNA polymerase 3 adds nucleotides at a rate of about 50 per second, but keep in mind, DNA can be 246 million bases long, 
which would take replication 57 days. Having the DNA being replicated in both directions saves time. Also, multiple origins of replication allow for much faster replication of about an hour. If you, if you like, like this video, punch that like button! If you want to see more videos, smash that subscribe!